what is up everybody today is april 3rd 2020 um today i'll be heading out to a local lake in search of some trout um i've been uh trying to get a, a saltwater video together but the weather has not been very cooperative uh you'll see a little bit later uh, what i mean like today it's blowing 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 um it's been like that the last two days where I'm where I live in uh, southern New Jersey. So, unfortunately, the bay and the ocean are just ripped up right now. It's <clears throat> not too safe to really take my little boat out to go fishing. So, I'm gonna do the next best thing now. Um, the last video I did was uh, another trout video, but it was from land. Today I brought my kayak with me. Um, Mainly because I, the last few days that I've driven by this lake, there has been a decent amount of people fishing it, and I don't want to put myself in a position where I'm, you know, exposed to other people. You know, the safest way to fish right now for me, load the kayak up in my truck, get to the lake, put it in, and, you know, I don't see anybody. Or at least I'm not within, you know, 50, 60 yards of somebody. But I just need something to, you know, decompress in this type of time. Um, just, just for instance, I literally went to the local shop right this uh, morning, and you know, you would think the goddamn world was ending. I mean, I saw a guy wearing a snorkel, like a mask and snorkel. I, I don't know what his like brilliant plan was going to be, but I, I don't see what the difference of wearing a snorkel and just walking, you know, without, you know, some type of protection. But, I mean, there's a guy in front of me checking out practically in a hazmat suit, so he must know something I don't know, but uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to get away from all the craziness, and the best place to do that is out in the wild. So, let's, uh, let's get some fish. Alright, I had to take my jacket off. It was getting hot in my truck. Uh, Today is not very warm, um, but I have a ton of thermals on, so I'll be good. A um, few things about today's trip. Um, I only have 30 minutes, so this might be a shorter video. The plan is to get to the spot, load the kayak in the water, paddle out to where I know there should be fish, anchor up on it, and hopefully uh, catch some fish in the 30 minutes I got to fish. So. We'll see. It's going to be a tight squeeze, but hopefully we'll be able to get some fish in this short amount of time. All right, so for today's uh, trip, I'm going to try using the easiest way to catch them, in my opinion, uh, from a standpoint of setup, is a rooster tail or a spinner, depending on where you're from, what you call them. I got a ton of them. Fortunately, your boy stocked up right before uh, this whole pandemic thing happened. Uh, while everybody was buying toilet paper, I was buying, you know, lures and rigs. So, you know, I guess everybody has their own vice. Some people it's toilet paper, me it's uh, fishing lures and rigs. But they're really simple to use. In fact, uh, all you do, you're tying them on and you're just pretty much casting and retrieving. Now, we do have a ton of wind today. So what I'm going to plan on doing uh, in my kayak is finding a hole and anchoring off of it hopefully it will get the wind at my back that way I can make you know feasible casts and all we're gonna do is just work this uh, little lure back hopefully we'll find some uh, nice juicy trout to catch today so now if you are gonna be using these spinners um, there's no particular color that always works I have to organize this if you're looking at it and you have OCD it's probably driving you nuts but uh, today we're gonna start out with yellow I like bright colors in the darker water um, Yellow doesn't seem to be producing many fish, but moved to like a purple rainbow color. So, uh, you know, there's no perfect lure. Everybody's got different ones they swear by, so we'll try those two first. So, just pulled the rods out. Fortunately, there's no one here. It is pretty damn windy. I'm still gonna load the kayak. Um, just cause it's a different perspective. I do see ospreys. I don't know if you could tell, uh, by, cause they're kinda high up right now, but ton of birds working so uh, I'm gonna try and work the middle part of the lake um, I might have to bring my anchor because the wind is howling right here you can't feel it because the tree line blocks it but there's definitely some hefty wind here so 
Uh, stay tuned while I load the kayak. Right. Got the kayak. Now we're gonna just get her. Now, one of the big things when you're fishing by kayak, I've learned, don't overpack. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I see some of these kayak fishermen and just watching them fish gives me anxiety because they're here loading their kayaks for about an hour with a ton of stuff. Now I get, I get you wanna be prepared. You don't wanna to have to make a trip back to the truck, but I mean, you can see, I don't even think that fits in there. So, you know, that might go by my feet, but I, I really don't need much. Um, <clears throat> By the time you're packing your kayak for an hour, you're taking away the fishing time. Literally all I'm packing is this handy dandy anchor. Put those by my feet, three rods, and an and a an, uh, paddle. You know what I mean? Let's keep life simple. You know what I mean? I, I don't need half of the Bass Pro Shops, <clears throat> you know, store in my boat. Oh. Now, this is kind of an awkward place to load a kayak but we'll make the most of it it's where I wish I was agile if you watch my videos you know I'm no stranger to falling in the water oh, getting old honestly does suck alright that wasn't too bad now I just try and paddle. Now, if you notice, um, to my left is my deeper sonar. I really don't need it for, <clears throat> for finding the fish, to be honest with you. What I honestly do need it for is uh, water temp. I like knowing what the water temp is because I do like posting it on my videos. I mean, it's pretty damn shallow right here. I can see bottom, and this water's pretty dirty. If you do, if you did notice, I have you know your Walmart special kayak. I mean, <clears throat> no pedal drive, nothing. You know, it's just all American paddling is what drives this. But uh, doesn't matter what type of. I personally don't believe that you know if you have to have a thousand dollar kayak or a thousand dollar rod and reel to catch fish. You know what I mean? You just got to have the technique down. So. Let's get to that first spot and catch some fish. It is breezy, man. I don't know if you could tell, but it is not a flat calm day. But you know what? Here's the positives. A lot of people don't think about this. When you go kayak fishing, I mean, this is a workout. You know what I mean? I, I don't have one that I'm pedaling. Even if you're pedaling, that's a workout. But if you know your wife or your significant other giving you a hard time about you know working out use fishing man say hey i'm gonna go work out right now i'm gonna go do some kayaking you know if you bring a fishing rod with you it's not the end of the world because you truthfully are working out but always look at it from every angle man now lake i'm fishing today isn't very deep i don't know i can't tell if you can see that but right now i'm 4.8 4.9 um, it doesn't get much deeper than like seven, eight feet. So we're gonna try a deep hole first, see if we can't find fish there. All right, so the wind's got a pretty good hold of me. So what I'm gonna end up doing is deploying the anchor. Um, that way I can kind of fish one certain area first. And then, <clears throat> so I wanna make sure that you got that locked in so they can't twist up. I'm just gonna drop it overboard. Uh, make sure you always have it untied. Don't be an idiot like me. All right, there we go. Once we get enough scope out, what I'm gonna end up doing is just clipping it to the side. On a windy day like this, you wanna make sure you got enough scope out. Otherwise, <clears throat> uh, it is a little bit difficult to hold bottom when you don't have enough scope. So right there should be good, what we'll end up doing. Just using a clip, clipping her off. All right, so we got the yellow spinner out. Hopefully, might change our luck. 
fish on. First fish. Let's go. All right, let me wet my hands. All right, let's get this guy in the boat. All right. Hands are wet before I'm letting this guy go. All right. Let's let him go. He's off. Uh, the color I just switched over to was like a purplish... Um, Rainbow color, I guess you'd call it. Fish on, let's go, fish on. First cast with the rainbow colored guy. Get them. Nice. It's actually a nicer size fish. Let's wash those, get those hands wet. Alright, let's get that hook out. Now, we're going to get him back in the water so that someone else could catch him another time. But, like I was saying, I changed over to this color. Seafood get some more fish uh, let's get it back out there now what I'm doing pitching it out as far as I can like I was telling you earlier I did reposition the boat so that the wind was at my back that way I can make the cast that I'm actually making right now because um, there is a ton of wind but uh, all I'm doing is just slow retrieving it right now and letting the blade do all the work um, if you've ever seen these types of you know rooster tails they, they have a ton of action so all it is is just cast and retrieve there's not really much of a jig i do notice if you do jig on occasion it will uh you know mess up the blade and then it doesn't look right in the water all right let's get her back out there now it does make a world of difference when you do have that wind at your back um I'm able to make oh cast that I wouldn't normally be able to make. Let's go, another fish. When you have this much wind, let's wet those hands. When you have this much wind, it could be tough to uh, <clears throat> make the cast with such light tackle. All right, let's let him back in the water. But I mean, this can't weigh more than you know one quarter of an ounce, and I mean on especially light tackle. You, you guys know how tough it could be to cast. I can't wait, honestly, till trout season officially uh, opens for keeping them because I do plan on doing some catching cooks. Um, I have some pretty good trout recipes. I think it'd be cool to pass on to some people. Um, but as of right now, the state did open up trout for catch and release, which was very nice of them because, you know, they could have easily made us wait you know, another 10 days or so, but they're helping people out knowing that we're in a tough time where, you know, people just want to get out and, you know, safely, socially distance from others. I mean, that's why I got the kayak out today. Um, I could have fished from land, but there have been people here and, you know, I don't want to run the risk of getting sick or exposing myself to somebody, you know what I mean? Uh, out here on my kayak, I'm as safe as can be, you know what I mean? I'm nowhere near anybody. Oh, uh, I just had one drop it. Right, let's get it back out in the honey hole. Fish on. Fish on, baby. Let's go. So I think the third one on this spinner wet my hands i know you guys probably hear me saying wet my hands so many times but um to properly handle these fish you want to make sure you're not wiping off their you know coating of slime there we go mr trout see you later i truly think this is the easiest way to fish for trout i mean 
Um, there's a ton of different ways. I'm going to stick this oar down here because it is about to blow out the boat. Uh, there is a ton of ways to fish for trout, but none easier than fishing spinners. I mean, think about how easy. I got out of bed, you know, took care of my daughter, made breakfast. All I had to do was load my tackle box into my truck. Like, there's no, you know, catching bait or anything like that. It's just, you know, tying a, a little <clears throat> lure on and just going out and casting and retrieving. Now, <clears throat> uh, there are, oh, fish on, let's go. That one hit it right off the bounce. All right, with them hands again. Ooh. Man, these guys are lively. That one was hooked on the outside of the mouth. That's an easy, easy fix. Let's get him back in. All right, back in the honey hole. I mean, <clears throat> this to me is, oh man, look how fast that was. Look how fast that was. Oh my God, that hit bottom. That didn't even, I didn't have a chance to close the bail before that guy was on. Wet, wet my hands again, man. My hands are going to be freezing by the end of the day if I keep sticking them in the water. Water temp is 50, but with the wind, I mean, it is just raw out right now. But can't complain. We're catching fish. Like I was saying earlier, too, with the wind, you know, if you position your boat the correct way, you're not going to have to worry. You know what I mean? I, I can feel the wind at my back right now. It, I mean, it's windy, but... Oh, fish on. And, uh... But you know what? It's at my back. When it's in your face, it sometimes can be pretty brutal. <sighs> my hands are still wet from that fish I caught 20 seconds ago, so... No need to re-wet them right there. Mr. Rainbow Trout. See you later. Let's get this back out there. Fish on, baby. Let's go. Son, this one's got some, some fight to him. Damn, this, this actually might be a bigger fish the way it's running. Oh, yeah, this is a big one. Whoa. Oh, did you see that? Oh, man, he spit it. I hope we got that one on film. That was sick. Now, if this was uh, a day where you could actually keep them, man, I'd be a little pissed, but you know what it is? It is what it is. Ain't gonna get mad about it. All right, let me fix my spinner. There we go, get her back out there. Oh, man, just as soon as I dropped that, got a hit, but he dropped it. I think I got some weed on it. Now where I'm fishing is like most New Jersey, excuse me, New Jersey lakes and ponds. Um, you just gotta be careful. If you reel too slow, you're gonna drag the bottom and there's a ton of spirilla grass here. I mean, if you've ever fished like the power bait rig or any type of bottom type rig, you know what I'm talking about. It's like this real like stringy type grass that super annoying you know what i mean it's everywhere in the lake i mean i think it blooms in the summer and it just kind of gets a little out of hand then but right now it's kind of uh not too big of a problem fish on oh he hit it right at the boat look at that oh easy release man to me this is one of the funnest things in the world you know what i mean I feel bad for all those people sitting at home, watching the news 24 hours a day, you know. Th those people I feel bad for, I mean, <clears throat> I, don't get me wrong, I, I do watch the news, but like, I don't let my life, you know, be determined by it. Like there's a ton, people say, oh, well, you gotta socially distance, well, I'm out on a lake by myself right now. The, please tell me what's different about this than sitting on my couch and watching TV. Both both of them, I'm not near anybody, you know, in the world. I had, I had somebody giving me a hard time saying, I can't believe you're going out fishing in this time. I'm thinking, 
what what's fishing doing that's spreading this you know virus yeah i just couldn't believe i had somebody giving me a hard time about fishing you know what i mean like i'm not giving the guy at shop right who's wearing a snorkel while he food shops a hard time you know if that's how you want to food shop i mean by all means food shop that way but you know i don't know if wearing a snorkel is going to really save your life i mean if anything you, you might want to wear like a scuba scuba gear like a tank that has oxygen but i i don't know that's not my place to tell somebody you know what uh diving equipment they could wear when they food shop but all right here's the official last cast of today let's get it back in that little sweet spot fish on let's go ending the day the right way man it does suck <clears throat> you never want to leave fish when they're biting but um let's wet that hand with that hand um but as a father i do have duties that i need to get to oh look at that easy he caught, came right off the hook all right bud say uh hello to the, all the youtube followers out there oh let's get you out of here have a great day all right i hope you guys really enjoyed today's video um i'm all out of time but please uh stay tuned because i will be having new content out each week um thank you for all the subscribers we finally hit 500 followers uh last night so that's pretty cool i mean we were at 100 a few weeks ago so it's telling me i'm doing something right uh if you're not a follower or subscriber please uh click below help a brother out um if you did like today's video as always uh drop a comment down below let me know uh i hope you guys stay safe during this time and i'll see you guys soon